Hey guys, we're back for another Two Perspectives. This one is going to be on... Casual round. Yeah, and how to get the most out of your casual round. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we warm up. <laughs> this is exactly why we warm up. Better. For the record, <laughs> there's some wind. <laughs> So, what do you think about the importance of warming up? So, before a round, casual or otherwise, I really like to warm up, um, do some stretching. Uh, Eric and I both kind of follow the Disc Golf Strong warm up, so it just gets your muscles moving. Um, you kind of want to create good habits. Anything you were going to do in a tournament round, you'd want to do in a casual round too, just to make sure that when you are throwing, your body is in the same kind of warmed up position. Uh, so I like to start with putters. After I do all my stretching, I throw putters and then mid ranges and then a couple of drives. Um, usually not much more than that because I want to save my energy for the course. Yeah, so Tina said that we do the disc golf strong warm up and I actually really, really, really think this is an important way to get your body loose. I do it before every practice round, every tournament round, get everything going. Um, I like to go from my um, uh, warm up into putting shortly after that. And with that, I feel like I get a good rhythm of things before I get my body really moving. And that actually gets my shoulders and my wrist moving. So whenever I get on the course and I start throwing some drives, I feel ready to go. For casual rounds, kind of depends on the day, but in my off-season casual rounds, I really like to focus in on one or two discs that I want to learn everything about. I think it's really important to understand every aspect of one disc. It makes, especially wooded golf, a lot easier to handle if you really understand everything your disc can do. And uh, throw those discs for shots that I would never throw that disc for, um, but it really forces you to learn a lot more. I throw all of all of the discs <laughs> in my in my casual rounds in practice rounds. I like to bring extra discs just to kind of get a feel for how they fly, and um, I throw a lot of multiple shots. So if it doesn't really work out, hey. <laughs> If it doesn't work out, then at least I try and figure out that line and find a way to make it work and then um, you know, continue to rinse and repeat to build that muscle memory. Casual rounds are great to start actually testing new discs. So these are two brand new discs in my bag um, and I'm really going to force them on lines to really see what they do um, to get the most out of my practice. Also, in this situation we're on a pretty easy a uh, hyzer like hole, I might actually take a disc that I normally wouldn't throw on this hole and try and manipulate it to get it to work. So if I face that type of shot in a tournament, I have this to reference back to to use during that tournament round. Um, when I'm in practice rounds, and I teach this a lot in my clinics, if I have an upshot that I have to throw, and usually I'd throw a backhand. I'll do that, but then I'll also throw a sidearm. Usually with a putter, this is a little out of range. But maybe in this case, I'll throw a verdict instead. Um, it's just a really good way. I'll throw my backhand, and then I'll throw my sidearm right after that, just to keep my sidearm warmed up. And if I don't have a good sidearm yet, uh, if you're beginning or if you just haven't worked on both, um, both types of throws, I would start using your casual rounds to teach yourself how to throw both shots. I think it's really important. And an easy and fun way without pressure to learn how to throw that other shot. So in my casual rounds, I really like to take extra putters. So I, I usually bring about four so I can throw multiple, uh, multiple putts from each of my lies near the basket. So I'm getting a lot of different putts from a lot of different situations and distances. We often throw multiple shots. It's a good way to 
learn the lines, learn everything. But, uh, there's my bad shot. There's my good shot, but I'm gonna go for this one because it's super tricky. Um, and I like this stuff. It's not like in a tournament you don't come up with really weird lies, so it's good to learn super tricky shots where you have to hit a line. And then you learn maybe you should go around the stuff instead of through it. So why? What what are you doing here? You're are you exploring well, all the shots, all the options? Yeah, instead of just like pitching out of trouble or risking getting back into trouble, um, I'm gonna try like a fail-safe shot that I know is gonna get me out. Maybe it'll get me forward too. Um, and it's something that's just good to learn that I don't throw a lot in practice or in tournament rounds because I don't practice them. So this is a good opportunity to practice. I'm walking up to a hole that, in a tournament, I'm throwing a sidearm, like always. Um, so I generally, with these types of shots and practice in casual rounds, I'm gonna try and throw a turnover, just because I need to practice that shot. And I will always follow up with another sidearm to um, feel it out and to feel out the sidearm to make sure that my sidearm timing and everything is still good and that it is the right shot for the hole. See, for me on this hole, I'm kind of in the opposite boat of Eric because my turnover is stronger than my sidearm. But because it's a casual round, I'm definitely going to practice the sidearm, even though during a tournament round I'd probably go with a turnover. But that's what these rounds are for, is to learn those shots and get better at those shots that you're not so good at. Now, one of the most important things about your casual rounds, this goes for both of us, is... What? having fun <laughs> honestly do. honestly enjoying it because this is the time that is there there is no stress if you hit the first tree laugh it off if you miss a 15 footer laugh it off and just enjoy yourself use this time to get better so something i think is really important that it's easy to forget about in casual rounds is not focusing and i think it's really important to make sure that each shot is still getting plenty of attention. Um, it's more fun to play willy-nilly and just walk up to your shot and just throw these fists and it went in. But like, um, maybe that's more fun, but it's not really beneficial to your game. So um, having fun and throwing shots you wouldn't normally throw is a really good idea, but making sure you're still focused um, on each shot and give it the attention that it deserves. If you're just going and playing practice rounds or casual rounds, and you miss these kind of putts, it messes with your confidence, um, even during a tournament round later, later on down the road. So making sure that you still focus, even on 10 footers or even on a simple drive, um, just make sure you still hone in and uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Also during a casual round, pick up other people's garbage that people left behind. Yes. Clean up your trash. Bring and if you're playing a casual round, do not leave trash behind. <laughs> Duh. Um, I also wanted to mention that if you have a hard time dealing with pressure, um, casual round versus a tournament round, all of a sudden everything's a lot harder when there's pressure, right? Um, so something that I like to do, and Eric and I don't really get to do this anymore because we're too competitive with each other, but put a dollar on the line or popcorn or an ice cream or something with your friends. Um, that way it forces you to focus and deal with a little bit more pressure while it's still just fun and there's not much on the line. But it's just something that makes you focus a little bit more, that makes you want to play better just a little bit more. Uh, I think it's a really good idea to, to force that tournament pressure in a casual way. So like we said, make sure you go out and have a great time on your casual rounds, but use them to better your game. Be sure to go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and check out our Patreon, uh, Whale Pants on Patreon, and uh, if you want to support us even more while we're on the road. Enjoy those casual rounds, and as always, be dynamic! Be dynamic.